Redux this morning <laughs> published this. Uh, non-binary male rugby player accused of injuring female competitors was awarded hardest hitter on the men's team. Now, before we get into this, I think we should just stop for a minute and explain what we're talking about here, because then we'll go into this because this is, I mean, it's absolutely wild. Uh, last weekend, I think it was. Dave, David, meant, we had previously gotten wind of, thanks to the great reporting of our friend Joe Warmington over at uh post media, the Toronto Sun, that there is a, a male player, biological male player, playing on the senior women's uh, Fergus Highlanders rugby team. And for those of you who know me, I'm a, a bit of a rugby aficionado. And mm -hmm. uh, my daughter plays high level rugby. And so I, I really take objection to male mediocre male interlopers stealing the opportunities of these girls while simultaneously putting their lives at risk, which is what is happening here. And this person's name is Ash Davis. And he really came onto the radar when three women were hurt in a game playing against him, thanks to him. And as it turns out, um, being the hardest hitter on the men's team last year, uh, that makes perfect sense. So if you can these jersey reads uh, number two. Am I frozen? Okay, there we go. Uh, his jersey is number two, which means he plays the hook and the scrum. And so he's generally, that's presumed to be kind of the strongest anchor on the team. And David Menzies, being uh, the advocate for women's rights that he is, he went down to a game of the Fergus Highlanders and confronted. Uh, Ash Davis, um, wherein Ash Davis's wife confronted David Menzies <laughs> and the the team of cheaters. By the way, if you play on the uh, Fergus Highlanders, I think you're a cheater. I think you're cheating. Um, but the cheaters were also screaming and yelling. Oh, God. Again, I can't believe he's throwing in on the line out. I'm surprised he's not a lifter. But look at him. Um, male pattern baldness and all. David Menzies goes down there and the girls on the Fergus Highlanders were uh, screaming nonsensical slogans at David Menzies because that's all you can do when you've been called out for cheating um, because that's clearly a guy. That is clearly a guy. That is not a woman. There's nothing wrong with my eyeballs. I don't need to have a PhD to know that that is a woman. That's a woman. The entirety of human history that's, or, sorry, that's a man. The entirety of human history <laughs> tells us that when you look at that person, that's a man, but they it doesn't even believe that try. that's a woman. It, it doesn't, doesn't even try. try. <laughs> look, oh, it, look, it doesn't have long hair. Doesn't look like at all like a, a, a female. Doesn't look like, doesn't wear anything that you can say, oh, yeah, I can see like a little bit of feminine like line of figure or something no what i see right there is like a totally a guy a normal biological male that we see every day in the street and he doesn't like look at all a female yeah maybe we can put the audio up on this this these women screaming at david really <laughs> Human rights for everybody. What? Trans matter. What about the trans rights matter? That you, trans trans matter. Matter. That you trans are traumatizing trans my family. I'm traumatizing them. Why? What happened? Because matter. my kids trans get to see people matter. like you trans crying trans trans because of things. I I'm we surprised. Don't need you in our As a mother, why would you expose your uh, kids to a misogyny? That is my partner. Uh, that, that is my wife. Trans that you are being. So he's a lesbian. So I'm gonna just ask you guys. Yeah. What, what, do you think it's okay for him to injure biological women? So I'm not going to answer any of your questions. And then have a nice day. Human rights. Human rights. What about the human rights of biological women being injured by this man? Human rights. What about the biological rights of the Charter of Rights and Charter of Rights and Humans matter. Human rights matter. 
Why Human do we have, rights, no! Why do we have separate Human categories for matter. male and female sports? Human yeah, rights please. matter! Okay. You're being asked to leave. Human Actually, rights matter! It's a matter. public park, ma'am. Human rights Can I call matter. you, ma'am? Human's rights matter. All people in Canada have rights. What about Charter the rights, rights of biological women friend. getting injured Charter. by this? Thanks, Efron. It's um, so you, crazy. You can see it's just mindless sloganeering, right? Like they don't know, they think it's somehow a human right for this mediocre male. And actually I'll, I, I, I'll change my tone here. He's not a mediocre male. Um, uh, and we'll get to that in a second. He's not a mediocre male rugby player. That might be the absolute worst part of it. I've seen where uh, mediocre males uh, end up being, you know, switching teams so that they have uh, better opportunities, so that they place higher. But Ash Davis, it sounds like, doesn't need the help. He just, I, I don't know what's going on here. Does he get off on this? Does he enjoy hitting women? I can't understand what's happening here. But it is not your human right to call yourself a woman and hit my daughter on the rugby field. Mm -hmm. And that's the end goal of this. Sorry, Alexa, I'm talking too much. I'm not giving you a chance to talk. But let's my, go ahead. My point is two things. Like, I'm just thinking about the child in that family, how uh, messed up they, they probably be, like, to live, like, in this kind of, like, situation where the dad mm -hmm. is a dad and sometimes, like, no, he, why well, he's transforming himself as a female for going to play rugby. I don't know. I'm just thinking about the child in this situation, but also about the other team player. Or either they are indoctrinate by the wokeism there, or they really believe that, yeah, what they are saying is true. And and the thing is, it looks like more indoctrination. It's like, if you talk, you're go going to be canceled and you're going to be out of the team. So yeah. I don't think it's a really healthy situation for either the player, either everyone the, who come or in watch the show, uh, the show, and also for the adverse team that's playing against them. Yeah, it, you know, it. one of a few things is happening here. Either they truly believe this, like they will not believe their own lying eyes that that's a dude, uh, or <laughs> they're scared to speak up, or they'll, they're will they just happy to win at all costs. I'm not sure. But this is just like senior women's league rugby. None of these, well, maybe a few of them, this is club. So some of them are probably university players. Some of them probably play on the provincial team too, whatever. You all have to play at a club team. Um, but I, I mean, th this is not something that you need to sell your soul to win. Um, but apparently that's just fine and dandy with some of the Fergus Highlanders uh, because it, they really truly believe that it is completely fair and natural and not an abomination for Ash Davis to be playing on the team. But let's get to this story from Redux uh, about the non-binary male rugby player accused of injuring female competitors. He was awarded, and this is the reason why I changed my tone, and, uh, because normally I just call these uh, mediocre male athletes stealing opportunities from high-performing females. He's actually a high-performing male uh, senior men's athlete. And you can tell by his pipes there. Um, but in the 2020 Senior Awards Banquet, and again, I'm, I'm slightly familiar with rugby awards banquets, um, he was awarded the Men's Hardest Hitter. And that awards banquet was held in December, so just seven so short months ago. He was the best male hitter on the Fergus Highlanders. So the strongest, most powerful male on the team. So, and then you take the strongest, most powerful male, and now you've taken and put him on the women's team. But even as, you know, as soon as seven months ago, he was willing to accept awards as a male and the rugby team, I don't think this is a rugby union award, but the rugby team was willing to give him an award as a male. Now, I'm not, he's wearing a dress in this photo. And he's I, probably dress, gender fluid. <laughs> yeah, wear a dress, don't wear a dress. I kind of like that dress, actually. It's plain high neck, I kind of like it. But um, 
wear a dress, wear, don't wear a dress. I, I, I really don't care. I, I only care insofar as you make me care. And now all of a sudden I do care because the toughest man on the team is now playing for the ladies team. And this is absolutely atrocious. Um, I see that uh, our friend Kian Simone had done some poking around too. Um, so in, I think it was, let me just bring this up. Efron's got it. I, so, I just want to specify that I play rugby and it's already really tough with yeah. other women who hit you. And sometimes you get injured and pretty well injured. I would say like, if you have, have a male there, um, I'm pretty worried of the physical health of, uh, those, uh, female players. Yeah. And I guess the, uh, rugby team, um, what was it in March, they posted like happy international women's day, but I'm reliably informed that you cannot know what a woman is unless you have a PhD, according to the defenders of <laughs> Ash Davis, who told David Menzies that in the video, I don't, I don't know what a woman is. I'm not qualified to answer because I don't have a PhD and neither do you give me a break. Apparently you do know, unless a PhD examined your Facebook or whatever, this is Instagram meme, uh, before putting it up. But by yeah. the way, I did my human anatomy courses in the university and I was like, probably my book that our store, I probably needs to take it back and maybe print some pages and just say, this has come from university. They teach that. I don't think they are wrong, but this is human anatomy. So you cannot lie on this. Yeah. I, I mean, it's clear. You don't, I, and ask a child, you know, as you get towards like young adulthood, you might be infected with the mind virus of wokeism. But if you ask a child, is that a daddy or a mommy? They will tell you, yeah, that's a, that's a daddy right there. Like mm -hmm. that's a daddy. And apparently he is a daddy because he has um, children with his wife mm -hmm. who uh, apparently are being traumatized by David Menzies and not the fact that their dad <laughs> is wearing a dress and hitting women. <laughs> anyway, it's just a big mess. And, um, you know, I think there are some sports where women can definitely compete against men, car, car racing, uh, sports shooting, uh, equestrian. But rugby is not one of those where your only equipment is maybe a scrum cap if you're worried about your ears and a mouth guard. And that's it. That's it. Um, so, I mean, I, I think this will really shine a light on just how dangerous it is for men to be uh, participating in women's sports. And it's not intolerance to say that someone who has undergone testosterone puberty has a different advantage over female players. It's just completely unfair and you have to be insane to think otherwise.